Hello, welcome to Freddy the Hook's do-it-yourself channel. I've been reading about sails for kayaks. Watch some YouTube videos. You can buy them on Amazon for 10, 20 or 30 dollars. Basically they're round, they mount on the front of the boat. They drop down when you don't need them. I decided to try and make my own. So let's see how that's done. The sails I've seen on advertised for sale are, have a clear plastic part that you can see through that's needed because the sail is directly in front of you as you're moving along. It's held in position with a hoop and as I say when not deployed it drops down onto the deck because, as you know, boats don't have brakes, and if the sail is up, you got to continue to go as long as the wind blows. Plus, with the kayak not having a keel, uh, you can't turn into the wind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of grapevine and form it into a hoop, and then tie the plastic on it somehow, how it mounts on the boat. I have yet to be determined. Well, I considered using this uh, green wire to lash it, the ends together. I have quite a bit of it. Couldn't find any stout cordage. But I do have these. Quite a few. Cable ties. Let's give those a try. The most important part of that is when you clip them, make sure you don't leave a pointed end on, on them. Well, that appears to work fairly well. Let me put a bunch more on and see what it looks like. Alright, I've got them all clipped down nice. What I'm going to do is hit each one with the torch just to melt the end a little bit. Doesn't prevent present a scratching danger. The next step is to figure out how to attach the clear sail material, which is a heavy duty plastic that came with something that was ordered online. I'm not sure what it was. I'll have to think about that a bit. See you shortly. All right, what I've done now is in each of the corners I've tied a knot in the plastic, and tied a piece of stout cordage to it. They in turn will be tied to the frame, the mast. Okay. Right on there. I guess I'll put this end, the heavy end, down and mount it on the kayak. Figuring out how to do that is the next step. Well, I've decided to go with the expedient of couple of bungee cords. This one, red one, holds it to those straps. The blue one keeps it in the forward position. Now I need to attach two strouds so I can deploy and lower it and we'll be ready to go. Well, I have the shrouds attached. I don't really like this polypropylene rope. It does it not well. So I put it on there with a couple of cable ties. The rope has too much memory. But now I'm thinking this front should be able to stand up without going side to side. So, back to the drawing board. 
All right, what I decided to do was to take these screws out and enlarge the holes to a half an inch. I'm going to pass this rope through, make a loop here, bring it back, tie the two ends together in a knot, pull it back up here tight, and then form loops here to hold the frame of the sail to. All right, I formed my loop. I cut it, melted the ends, how to tie the mast on. I have decided to go again with the knot behind the cable tie method. The rope comes out, a couple of cable ties, a knot. These will just be tied off. Not too much lateral movement. Able to turn somewhat, not much. May loosen those knots, set them back another inch or two. See how it works. When you're just about to hit the shore, since you can't really go against the wind, you drop it down. That's how the ones, the store bought ones, work. As you can see, there's no wind. So it appears we'll have to wait for another day in order to try her out. Plus, I'm going to need a second person because I am not taking this phone on the, on the boat. Too risky. All right, sea trials are next. One final modification. That clip through there to hold the sail up, presumably the wind will keep it in the upright position. That way I can use the paddle to steer since my hands will be free. See you on the water. Well, after all that effort this morning, I decided to take a nap. As I was dozing, I was thinking the previous sail configuration was too cupped. Wouldn't be able to spill the wind. So if I'm going 30, 40 degrees off the wind, I might get a little tippy. I decided to go with something more square using some grommets. All right, I think that'll be better. Flatter, it's not a cup or a bowl. Now for a quick, quick reinstallation, I'll be ready to go as soon as the wind picks up. Here's the uh, latest setup. It's a little cockamamie. Should be like that. I decided that uh, since I don't want to take my phone on the boat in case it tips over. I have a waterproof camera that I can mount on the side of the boat or my hat. So you'll have to look for episode two if you want to see the sea trials. It's a little breeze, but I don't know if, enough, if there's enough to try it out. In any event, should do something. This is Freddy the Hook with Do It Yourself.